Nishi is suspended. Serenko, the goalkeeper, is also suspended. Not too much of a miss when you look at it, two players, but as the game wears on, he gets that third period. Players are tired. The temperature's around 30 degrees, and the from the Ukraine are not used to those temperatures as the Iranian players are, and it is going to make a big, big difference. What's my name? Of course, all conjecture at the moment. Ukraine will be pretty confident they can get a result here. Like they know for a fact they've been the best in Europe. If you beat the best in Europe, you pretty much beat the best in the world. So it's a great test for Iran. So they look forward to that World Cup in Paraguay. The Ukraine have not qualified, so realistically this is a season ender for them. Very keen to do well here, especially so you got 36 minutes. involved in qualifying. Is. Is, shall we say some uh, differences between right. themselves and the entry to Moscow? We we are they get a chance to prove from themselves from in those Euro qualifiers. So this is most definitely an extra motivation in this tournament. So referees, we'll check. The early cut inside. Same so goalkeeper. That's the left side. Easy for him. I think we'll see some real pace about this game. Beach soccer as it should be played. The goalkeeper looks to have gone out of his area. Not the chance you want to concede in the game at all. And also special Well, it could be argued the other way as well. Stop what was that? Right. Right. So no smoking zone. So no smoking please. Euro beach soccer league winner in a great position. Is this going to be a goal or is it going to be blocked? So, choice here is to bounce in front of the keeper or go for power. I get a feeling looking about the distance of his run up, he's going to go for pa power. Steps up. There's a strike out of finish. Well, he skimmed across the surface of the sun. Perfectly done. No chance for the goalkeeper. Dream star for Ukraine. Ukraine. Just to use the sand to perfection there, where you just skim it across the surface and the little bobbles and bounces give the goalkeeper absolutely no chance whatsoever. But you ensure that it doesn't bounce up and over the bar. So Ukraine won, Iran nil. Can I see some fans? Strike back straight away. Well. They may strike someone in the skate park behind us. Kiani, can't get the shot down. Nourish, and head protection. Just add to the heat here. Yeah, okay, back to his goalkeeper. Nourish, replacing Hadley Achenko, who was a stalwart for many, many years. He's just a drop from this tournament. Nourish is the man to take the number one spot, the number one ship for the Ukraine, metaphorically and literally. Jack of all trades, apparently two master's degrees. He's got owns his own gym, karate expert. Scored the best goal of the last World Cup. Anything he can't do. Wow, nice catch! It's hardy. Wow, this is oh, Well, we need a keeper replacement. Oh, you know where to get him. Fantastic for the security guard. What's your name? What? He's asking his name, the announcer now. Good save by Hussaini. Okay, please give the ball back. <laughs> good say. Small good goalkeeper in stature as you often yeah, see in beach soccer. Excelling this ball. Katari. Okay, so now one here. Poor, poor touch. Look at the sky here. He's disappointed with himself there. Saini. I get a feeling they've seen something, haven't they, with this? In the videos they watch the Ukraine. To do with the Ukrainian goalkeeper twice now, they jumped in, foot right up, just to see if they can get the ball. It's time to get a free kick. Saini, oh, we know he likes a shot. 
we got a substitution number 14 coming in. Slow, can he get the ball up in the air or keeps it low when he kicks it? Interesting to see. Yeah. Positioning for Ukraine at the moment. Three at the back, one up top. They're keeping it fairly conservative at the moment. Decent run at the near post. The head is just wide. The best guy here. Played six games in the World Cup. Yeah, played there this year. Yeah. Mentioned before, he had a chance to even qualify. Shane. Shane. Eases that ball into the sand there, takes the shot. So this guy here, it yeah, away. Bit of a brain rattler that one, wasn't it? Shane again. Pushes the ball into the sand, just to please it forward the entire foot. So this guy here closes, does well. All stays in play. Well, in fact, it doesn't, but they get it back in play very quickly with the feet, Ukraine. Look over the shoulder. Yatenko, decent effort. Well, he had that good look, didn't he, over the shoulder just before he got to the board. He saw he had time, he saw he had space. He went for the shot early. So the Actually, that intelligent play wasn't the accuracy of the shot. Shaney. Well, that has gone out eventually, though the tape moved. If it does move, then the ball stays one side. Pitch side of it, then too. Simple as that. We like to keep it simple in beach soccer. Here we are. It's fast flowing soccer. Beach overhead. Very decent. Right here at the Beach Soccer Arena. The time now is 7 minutes and 34. As I thought, everyone else got excited. I remain calm. It wasn't the goal over the top. Not bad for a second. Or maybe, but not in that case. The rush. All right, come on in. All your fans. Let's go. Come on in. Forward at the moment, the goalkeeper aren't quite quick enough to cause any damage. He likes it. Medvedi, you see, tackling there. You want him down by the touchline just to get the ball across quickly at the angle. Someone arriving far oh, close to work so, so well in beach soccer. He can execute it so simple, works so well. And as you can see at that point, Iran could not execute it. The diagonal ball, right, any form of the game, is always the best one to play down the street to right now. Saini, he took a risk there. Still taking risks. Well, there's pace and there's speed about him. But when you're doing things like that, you've got to be careful. Adelai, he was rather stretching him for that. It wasn't a bad effort, really, from his own half. And he said that he was under pressure from two yellow shirts. One of which has injured himself. So this guy here, I think he's down. A little bit of magic now. Spray. Bit of water, normally they recover. 99 times out of 100. It's a very good effort because he's falling backwards, stretching as he hits it. The line he does really well. Sitting among us, amongst us, may say, the bonus is he took out one of his opponents. Silliness with both goalkeepers, and what he's doing there. Often try and overcomplicate the simple just to try and get a little advantage and causes a huge disadvantage at the same time. So free kick, 
gave him a difficult angle, though he's left footed, which is an advantage. Shot up and over. You've got a couple of choices in beach soccer when you take your free kicks. You go for power like that, hope we can beat a top quality keeper like Hussaini, or you try and bounce it in front of him on a divot of sand, about two, three maximum metres away from him, and that will take it into the goal. Oh, that's a great effort. Well, you kind of know what's going to happen on that right-hand side there. They're not afraid to shoot from their own half, Iran. Barry, looks valuable player at the Asian Championship in 2016, proves why there. Oh, sensational! No, 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 no. He proved doing that shot before. He stumped an official with that one. Absolutely brilliant. Look at this. Side foot. He knows exactly where it's going. Sally Van Rush showed us here, but he can't get back. And what a finish that is. What a finish. Well, they're back on level two. And Ukraine won, Iran won. Well, my position here does terrify the poor woman sat in front of me, I think. Nice screen for that goal, but it was worth it. Oh, oh great oh, save by the side. In fact, it was the post that saved him. Let's go here with the shot. Beautifully done on the volley. Team so vulnerable on the kickoff. Something they're saying here, I think Ukraine are going to close him. It's a great turn. It's the finish there. There's three players back for the round. The overhead comes in. Is that the foul? It doesn't matter. It's down the back of the net. Second goal for that man. First round for play. Pushing and pushing and pushing. Eventually, you'll find the gap. It wasn't there. It was there. So, Brick Sky here. Brilliantly done. That's a lovely coach for Iran. Nice and full. With the Iranian League 11 side style. Before transferring to beach soccer for his coaching career. Well, that's where you want the player on the far touch line just to come back in. Medved there, in that case, as I mentioned before, just to step in and head it across the, the goal. Went over his head in that position, he wants to come back towards him. It's counterintuitive, but if you get the perfect ball, you can do that. You can stand on the touch line or just off the pitch, and come back on, head it across the goal. That's the ideal didn't happen there. Rush, balls it back into his chest. Rather risky there. He's got five seconds on the ball, but still. They need to be on the far touchline, but on the far touchline, we'll have a chance of heading the ball back, and then someone can arrive near far post and get that finish. So he can shoot. I think the numbers of thousands of views on the YouTube. Let's do your research on him. Yeah. Yeah. So all right, the all the fans just walking in, walking in, happy to be there. Welcome to the Terra Beach here at Beach Soccer Arena. What's up, kids? Look at these three kids. Style wrestling belly band. Just nudged into him. What's going on? Pop your hands, come on. Sumi, the most valuable player okay. in the Iranian league last season. Oh, yes. The strike, and Rush wasn't quite sure there. He just got his body behind it, almost volleyball style. He's going to be doing his feet. I think he should close in quicker. I think he could have had a step or two quicker there. Oh. Maktari couldn't get on the end of it. Lines it up. Oh, oh is that a touch from the goalkeeper? No one's seen it if it was. The 
finish in there for They actually had a little bit too much time in the box there. Well, it was spectacular. Let's go into grounds go. It's been given. It's a nudge, isn't it, really, with the hip, with the shoulder. Tenko, thinking all the ties would have been called, letting him know you're there. Now, a foul is given. He's in a great position as well. He plays his beach soccer in Russia, captain of the Iranian team. Was out really well there, almost like a handball goalkeeper. Oh, one end to the other, and guess who? Third of the day. He's on absolute fire at the moment. Well, that's all it takes to beat soccer. One second, one end to the other. A little flick up. He's full of confidence after his two goals. Makes it his third. Ukraine three, Iran one. This guy, and the tackle in. It's a good save by Narush. He's been a star man so far for Ukraine. Defensively speaking, does that man will disagree? So the best guy here has been fantastic in terms of goal scoring. It takes the little knock, doesn't he, to the face? It's a major. Goalkeeper takes the knock himself to the face. With that head protector on there, there's no stranger to a few head injuries. Knocked into his face. Comes up. You always do. Well, he apologises. Not unusual in beach soccer to see the four outfield players come off and then four replacements. If you want to keep the intensity up, if you want a period of minutes where you want to really push on an opponent, then it's tactic to use because you can have your players sprinting for two, three minutes and then flip it round and then go again. So keeps things a little bit fresh. Of course, not every team has that strength in depth where they'll trust four players to come off and four to go on. Iran, Ukraine are some those such teams. Hussaini, make sure by falling onto his elbows. Loves playing with his feet. Oh, got his eye on with that shot. Push for depth of throwing, so oh, to catch it. He's going to stay his team forward. Finally, the ball coming back to the ground. Why did you give it to Rat? Could have been yours. <laughs> Thank you. All right, top left, we got two minutes and 14. Wow. He set himself nicely, just 
Yeah, just for a little bit, wrap around the ball, so he takes it wide, drags it wide. Shame. Well, lacked any kind of real direction on it, it was just looped up. His ball out really wasn't that good. Bar is a little to do. Gives his goalkeeper up, plays it back to him. with the two forward, two back, very happy to trust their goalkeeper with the ball. The wide left. Bari. To the far side, the rush though had anticipated it. Very, very good interception. Transfer around to attack. Walks wide, you get those four changes for Ukraine. And Will in a second, you can see them all there waiting for the bibs on the touchline. He's the danger man so far for the round. Great header, wasn't it, the near post? He did exactly what you should. What you should teach a young striker to do, get across the defender. It's the post denied him. Well, this pitch is a little bit different to these sort of pitches in Europe, I know this is sounding ridiculous at the moment, but let me finish. They've not really dug this one up, though. not really dug this one up as much as they would have done in Europe. It's just, the sand here is just very rock solid, it's like almost a sprinkling on top. It means it, you can run faster, and you can play the ball along the sand a little bit more than you would normally. Normally in European beach soccer, the, the players now, it would be ankle deep in the sand. Permanently. They really you dig it up there and make it difficult. Here, yeah, it's not that easy to do. The yellow card is shown. Abdullah. Abdullah. Sees the yellow, still complaining about it. He gets the two, but he misses the game, so maybe he has to be quiet. He gets sent off, of course, he misses the game. Hence that Ukraine are missing two of their best players in Kudarenko and Pachev. Paul Scott's picked up. So this guy here, he's going to cross the tape, so it's going to stutter his run up. Maybe take some of the power out, out of this shot, but it is a good distance from goal. It's a strike, and there is the finish where well, he did it absolutely perfectly. From one side of the pitch to the far corner, and that Ukrainian fan very happy. Ukraine is back to business straight away. Takes quick celebrations of his teammates. Beautifully done, though, wasn't he? Just used that again, that technique of just skimming the sand. Take the ball into the net. Use it as an aid. A few shots. To knock the ball that, bit, that hard. So, Ukraine lead at four goals to one. Good save and rush. Well, they won't say at the end of this match if they do win you play. Should be thanking their goalkeeper. There we have it at the end of the first period. Well, that man there, but he has scored three rounds. All right, after the first 12 minutes, we got great action. For goals, including the hat trick. Ukraine. Dreamland. Ukraine fans, make some Ukraine noise. Four. Iran one. I want to see your flags up in the sky. Come on out, put it up. What are Ukrainians in the house? Make some noise, guys. How about fans up Iran? Iran, where you at? Okay, I want to see some kids dancing. I want to see some kids dancing. Come on, kids, kill up. Oh, oh. 
Show us had a decent period apart from the main stat, which is Ukraine for Iran 1. That's the coach now, what you say. All the same, keep plugging away. They've been denied by the goalkeeper so many times. Now that baby's asleep. There's the Ukraine fans and some of the other team in the World Beach Games. 13 sports being played here. And we got a four or five days. We're in pink. Give me trust. Decent That's Ukrainian right. population in the Middle East. Hello, sir. How are you doing? Tonight in Qatar is a decent are you crowd as well. Good time tonight? This is the place to be. Right here, right here. get later here. Friday night. It's like Saturday here night in the rest of the world. The we'll get busy yet. Confirmation of his score yeah, lines, moving to the second line. period. We got a Russian team also in the tangles. Hey. The Russian remains in goal. Don't forget to use switch our goal for Iran. Hamid is in. All the teams their distribution of the ball. We'll find out. So he's being voted on the valuable goalkeeper in Asian tournament. So they're blessed with two very, very good goalkeepers, the Iranians. Being voted most valuable player. World Cup, won an Asian Championship. Yeah, he didn't feature too much in the first period. He's on now, left hand side. Ball goes out to him. To Hamid. Yeah, well, Decent effort, but Ukraine are resolute. They've got two defenders quite tight. You can see that. Goalkeeper in behind those. He took no chances. The Russian has punched it away. The defensive position right in beach soccer. You've got two players inside of the posts, and the other goalkeeper's got the ball, and then the goalkeeper in the middle, so you've got less of a goal almost to look after. Oh, again, the Russian team is out well there. Right? Four keepers up there. Meantime, number 14, checks back in for Hugh Lorraine. Another piece of overhead kick. Just to start a man for the round of captain and plays in the Russian league. Oh, Set up a sky here. Comes off the ball. Just a simple variation on the ball played wide and then headed on. Just calls time out. Okay, all the fans in attendance. Who along here after Instagram? Well spotted by the referee. Who's got Instagram? Some of the fans in attendance. Given even though we showed the replay, that might be we spotted it. Assuming you know, the man who was dragged back, it's back to his goalkeeper who 
Well, the senior who scored the best goal in the World Cup, he looks like he's desperate, Hamid, to match his uh, teammate. Well, it's not rivalry, isn't it, between goalkeepers, even though they act like the best of friends. Goes looking for the foul, not given. Grant went out with the ball, but eventually goes out and they play it back to their goalkeeper. Thing maybe could have gone the other way. Got the ball though. But nowadays that isn't enough, is it? Get the ball, but it's how you get the ball it counts. And the referee didn't like that. A free kick it is to Iran. Taking the shot, we're going to the most valuable player in the Iranian league, which is the only league in the world which runs consistently week in, week out for six, seven months. Hence, Iran suddenly become a real force in beach soccer. Number 21 leagues, golf competitions, women's leagues, everything. Assume it. So as soon as you that is that way place, off, man. Under -age team is playing in a league, you're gonna compare better players over the years. He's currently on the ball. There's the overhead kick, it's wide. Goalkeeper now, they need to keep the ball moving in the air. Around real tight defensive shape, Ukraine. Really nicely done. Goalkeeper sits in the middle of the two defenders there and picks up anything and they, they deal with anything in and around the post area. Difficult to break down, scoreline proves that. They do it now, Iran, they can't. That hurt. Whether it was the fault of his opponent or not. Class shins. They're not the type of team to stay down. The Ukrainian team. So that must have hurt. Just yet. Slowly get to his feet. Stop seeing stars. Sold it well. See that they almost give the ball away. They do give the ball away and get away with it. It's a nice relief all round there. Get back to his goalkeeper. Shot. Rush watches it wide. Well, the wind's rather dropped out of the sails for around here. They're not putting real pressure on. They were hitting posts and making the rush make saves in that first period. They're not doing that right now. No possession. No penetration. Footballers innocent me. Face and body language. Yes, you. So you can see from the replay there. The youngest player for the Ukraine. 22, which shows they're not really bringing 
through real youngsters, your 17, your 18, 19 year olds. All right, you guys take it to me, number 17. Here we go. Give a love shot. Let's check it out. Ukraine, make some noise, guys. Let's go. Here we go. Next time it. Let's go. Oh, that's cleverly done. So the pass was a little bit too much on it. That's something we've seen recently in Pete Soccer and last season or so his team's doing that where they run round the back of the player with the ball. And he plays it and they try and get on the end of it because often they play these pass type free kicks from their own half and then woeful. No one ever gets on the end of it. Drop the shoulder several times, and he jumps to the ball between his feet. Love that. That's someone who's uh, on a high as that. He's got a hat trick doing that type of thing. Very good player. He's terrifying the Iranian defence today. So it's a goal scorer for Iran. About to take the free kick. Barry taking his time. Now this is a surefire sign of the player's level of confidence is how they set themselves for these free kicks because they spend a long time finding sand behind the ball, in front of the ball, and making sure that now they put the ball on is perfect. Shows a little bit nervous. They do it quickly, just get ready to take the free kick. Shows a different mentality. Right over there, the effort was lifted all the way into the bread basket, as they say, for the goalkeeper. Easy for the rush to deal with. It's a one heck of an effort from that distance. Score. And we that quality. this match, we're going to have later on El Salvador versus Russia. That's the game next. Take the free kick there. Okay, and it back towards their goal. So watch again that free kick. Yeah, they're ever going to trouble the goalkeeper from that distance. Just can't kind of generate enough speed off it. Straight the ball. Especially when you've got to cross the tape. Cross the tape, you, you run up, it's got to be stuttered ever so slightly. When it is. Send the power you could put into a shot where there's a clear run up. Tennis guy here then. Another long shot now. Decent position. Yellow shirts. Not afraid to have a shot. Not to bounce in front of the goalkeeper. They will do. Didn't quite do that. Bounced off the goalkeeper. That downward trajectory, didn't it? Yellow card Yellow issue, card. side for the penalty. Well, he just took the free kick, he's now issued with the yellow card. Okay, fans in the middle, here we right go, there. come on, let's fuck it up. Referee, just uh, off our pitch, it was just behind him, so it's never going to be that difficult for him to make that decision. Three for the United Island Amendments. Well, why as a goalkeeper would you wear a ring beneath your gloves? Asking for trouble, eh? And they take a knock on our fingers, swells up. No, oh, your wife doesn't probably let you take any ring off, but she'd probably let you off while you're playing beach soccer. That's a really dangerous thing to do, actually. Told to take the jewellery off in your PE lessons. Take no kids. It's 
Scotty. Edge to the goalkeeper can't come out. Well, I think a stuttery point to the run there was what made the difference. Brilliantly done. And we do get a goal finally as we watch that replay. Too fast for the cameraman. Corner resulted. Decent header into the top corner. Antoni can't score with a free kick, but can score with his head. Desperate to get straight back down to business. The key in beach soccer now is just holding this position and not conceding for the kickoff. Ukraine four, Iran at two. Want to make the most of this the way they're setting everything up now. This flattening sand, get this all set. It's a shot, but it's easily closed down. And a couple of white shirts. Good ten kill. Now mid. Let's get a little bit of pace about them now. And 29 left in the period. Two goals is nothing in beach soccer when you think we average nine a game. No decision to make for the team. Is, do we carry on as we were? Do we go for it? to increase our lead or the defend. That's it, the first with the decision to make. I'll sit back against the likes of Iran. Expect them not to come on so you have quality players who can finish. Okay, can I see some kids here? Come on now. Come in. Okay, tell me how three and four is four and four two. The Rams are scoring recently. Oh, that one, you fly good, kiss him off! Oh, oh. Too far, too flat with his shot, and that's plenty of power, but it did hurt. <laughs> Announcing in the pitch, and why didn't he catch it? He's probably thinking, why didn't I catch it? That's a good example of that. Defensive position you create here with a tight inside the posts. Don't give the option. For the goalkeeper to have to even make a save. So this guy is still down. Okay, how about the soccer ball is 200 here. grams lighter than the normal big right. soccer. Yeah. The normal yeah. football, I should say, but when it hits you at that pace, it still hurts. It's a little bit light because you want players to play in the air rather than on the ground, which is. That's intuitive to what most of us are taught as kids from playing football. Keep it on the grass. Well, Barty looked at his goalkeeper there, but I don't think there was too much wrong with that pass. He just didn't get on the end of it. Yeah, it's his goalkeeper. Uh, yeah, can't match his exploits of the first period in terms of goal scoring with that shot. Come on, Ukraine, let's hear it. Let's hear it. Um, it. You were cheering something, let's go, make some noise. That's for Ukraine to break here. Two on two it is. Uh, there we got a whistle. Interesting what will happen here as we're both wrestling. All right, Iran, the fans up That's going to be free kick to Iran. Let's go! Mix it up, guys! Yeah. Come on! GPT! Let's go! Iran makes it nice! We'll have a little routine of getting his arm chopped up through his body. The referee was having none of that. Oh, uh, Richard is uh, having a good time. What are you having? So, bye, we'll get a free kick. Not in the most dangerous of positions. Okay. Um, the choice is now is does he roll it along? Right, his teammates on the 
Left hand side of the pitch will get there. As you go for the shot, full pelt and try and beat the keeper with just pace. Or does he go for the bounce in front of the goalkeeper? Watch this space, we'll find out. Barry, yeah, he's got to cross the end tape, which is going to take a little bit of the pace out of his run, and therefore the shots. Barry, good effort. Yeah, oh, he was convincing there to rush for the first time. He slapped at it rather, as it went over the bar. He's hurt his hand. You watch here now, he's hurt himself doing it. It's okay to carry on. Don't necessarily think of wearing his ring under his gloves, and he needs to sort that out. He's, okay, he's, he's, he's gripping his hand there. He's in trouble. Just raise your hands up. So get that ring off you. his finger. He needs to get the goalkeeper on. Barry, uh, swing and a miss. Back. What's your name? Mike. I'm calling you Mike. What's up, Mike? Medved. Good chest to cross. This guy here uh, goes down, clutching his face. Okay, here we go. We Nobody's we're convinced. The Rams still look at the time. Hamid. Inside. Final two minutes of the period. Probably too delicate with that. It was a little flip header. The, the, the second header from Ali was ambitious to say the least. You see exactly what he was trying to do though, but sometimes it's not doable. Red red. That's, that's one way, ball stays though. And it's going to give referee a stare, but had no effect. And Bari going to take the throw to Hamid. Yeah, the shot from Hamid there, disappointed with his effort. So the final minute. Bari. We've seen his name an awful lot. He's been instrumental for the round today. Goalkeeper names were mentioned in most the most touches. And it goes again. Hamid, not too sure. He's almost at a halfway line. Oh dear. It's not unfortunately for him and he ran. The overhead kick. Got trouble nourishing the goal. Time to call one. That's a very good ball. He just needed to get it across the box a little bit quicker. There's a strike. Great block. Here goes the round. We got eight seconds left. Inside the final ten seconds. Drain two on two for a second. And so if you look at the goalkeeper there, he's got his a ring on that finger, and I think his finger's starting to swell up. He's not going to be able to get the ring off. It's a silly, silly move to leave a ring on when you're playing a goal. But you're not allowed to wear them outfield. You can't see the goalkeeper. But it's dangerous as we've seen. So, green four. Iran, two. Once again, guys, make sure to not go away if you can still got two games coming up. We'll still have a lot of beach soccer action. So, do not go away. Sit back and relax. Okay, now let's figure out who's the loudest fans in house. Is it this area to my right? 
or this one to my left? Oh, who do you think the loudest? Is it you guys? Or this side? Okay, you guys ready? Like I said, you guys make some noise. I want you to be super loud. Can you do that for me? You hear? What would you have? What's your name? What? <laughs> We're gonna have a shout out. Okay, we got a few great fans in the building. So, this side. All right, one more time, okay. Send them up, we got to make some noise. Okay. Okay, how about you guys? You ready? When I say make some noise, I want you guys to shout as loud as you can. All right, come on, you got to make some noise. And how about this one? In the middle. So plenty of fans inside the stadium. Okay. Smile oh, despite the fact they're 4 2 down. Just one period oh. to go. And now, well, everybody, all this the coach of Iran won't be smiling. What about this for a start? They've had 26 Here shots for on target against that scoreline. Eric Crane. 11 on target, a total of 18 shots, big difference. That's the difference in the scoreline. Well, they spotted that Iran and thought about some tactics to remedy it. A little bit more central. The opponent's half rather than their own. So Hamid remains in goal for this period. The rush does also for Ukraine. Yeah, wrestling in the box there, but he doesn't call anything. Johnny. Buddy. Scrambles out here, and there is the goal, where it's one shot on target, and one goal in this period for there Iran. Go, happy to the After some woeful shooting previous to this. Right. Yeah. Goalkeeper should have done a lot better, well, it's a complete turnaround, a goalkeeper just like that. made a terrible error. Just down by one trying to get a shot on target. Score now is 4-3! Ahmad. Captain. Apparently he has a superstition. Right, Captain, he's always wearing his shirt after the final day of the tournament. Sleeping that night. He's a bit sweaty. There you go. Back here. Diminishing rewards of beach soccer cause problems because what happens is if you win an extra time, then you get two points. If you win it on penalties, you get one point. As you can imagine, if you win one an extra time and then win one on penalties, you're going to be sadly lacking behind your opponents. You're going to be able to tie the game. Let's find out with 10 minutes and 40 left. Here, we're going to clear the last period of the match. All right, here we go. And that is way Back to the start. Back to the game now. Ukraine takes the ball. 26 shots with the on target in the first two periods. And how about Iran? Pretty weak. Push. To the Iranian flags fire. Here we go. Left hand side. So speaking Ukrainians, Iranians. Expected the battle. It's nice and friendly as well. And that one is in the water. Just now had that shot that scores. Ukraine have thrown in on the far side. We've got a solution for them. Number 15 coming in for the run. Paul Tommy. And checking in the game right now. We have the Sumi. And that 
as well. Tensions are high, everybody's screaming everything. Brody, woeful shots to shots on target ratio. But he's so lively, and he's a player who has the sense of everything that he ran do, be it attacking, defending. He's covered half the width of the pitch there just to get that header. Well, just holding things up for a second as the players have told to stop holding each other. Cue they'll hold each other. Yeah. Drifts harmlessly out on the far the side. In and are in. So, can we build? How much you need? In possession. In the meters. He needs to get an extra goal quickly. Barley no. Defending. No foul given. Come on, everybody. We're starting cheering now. We're down to the last period of the last couple of minutes. Johnny. Oh. Getting close and close to the goal. On the far right. Johnny, well done. The rush. Close the foul. Not good in. Finger from his ring. Young boys and young girls. Okay, those are coming up, please. Make sure to occupy the top chairs. Coach, very unhappy. We got a lot of things for everybody to expect. Okay, we're going to try to move some chairs. The Ukrainian team. It's a mishmash of kids in this tunnel because some of the stuff they wear is Olympic type stuff, and then other stuff is their FA stuff. Oh! Wide. I think I made was going for the shot there. She was surprised by it. Couldn't adjust his feet quickly enough. It's a strange mix of almost leisure wear on the bench. And a normal football kit on the pitch. And yeah, no. oh, shot wide, I should say. This guy here. You get a feeling there's got to be a goal in this somewhere. There needs to be a goal in this somewhere. The Ukraine needs a get themselves that little bit ahead of their opponents. They need to do it quickly, just to take the window off in our sails. And around with the likes of that man there, Akbari, are more than capable of scoring. Again, it's a goal for him. And he heads it on. Okay, not particularly interested in getting forward quickly here at all. Forward there was Sherry who just ambled forward on the right hand side. See that energy, don't see that goal. Oh, get the corner to do that. One. To be fair, it's not a bad tactic. Time. You're two players tight inside the post. The goalkeeper is in the centre, and anything goes between the two players, he's going to deal with it. They've got confidence in that goalkeeper, they know he's going to deal with it. I've got confidence in you teammates confidence in his system when you've got both together it's highly unlikely you'll concede yeah not get it on target take the deflection easy throw is your hands Fede! 
finish. Well, finally, they break through. Finally. Amir was probing with his shots from distance. Eventually, they find that gap. Gruffy as it was, the equaliser is theirs. Sheer with the finish. After being down 4 1, Iran is now tied with Chief Ryan 4. What a play. Come on, fans up, Iran, make some noise. Let's go, yep. Was no Iran made by their own goalkeeper. Number 12. Atari. Oh, wow, could this be the big team of nowhere? Bruce looks disconsolate. Iran ecstatic. After being down by three, they're now up high. Well, the shots and goals, the shots, the shots on target ratio is woeful in the first two periods, 26 to 3. That's now improved immeasurably. Still got five minutes and 22. Here we go. This is why beach soccer is super awesome to watch. Because the Iranian fans. Ukraine four, Iran five. Okay, fan time. Who wants a shout-out from the fans? Well, we talked about this earlier, didn't we? I'm going to fade in this heat. Iran, the players are used to this heat. Five and 21, here we go. Ash go. And it's way out of the hole. The momentum is most certainly with Iran. Trying to find something from somewhere. Badush. Then on the sandwich, it's so so difficult. Iran, Mokhtari, when in doubt, kick it out. The old dad is definitely applied there. Please call time. This guy here is here, he's punched to the face. Number 14, hold on. Oh, you don't forget, guys, we got two matches coming up. Little pinky finger for Mohammed, didn't he? We are going to have El Salvador versus Russia. Oh, El Salvador! Buenos tardes, señor y señora. ¿Cómo está? Bien? All right. Latin America powerhouse. El Salvador. Give him a score for the dive. Punch with the pinky finger. That's what he's saying it was. <laughs> India. Three plays. Never oh, forgiving, are they? Football. Ah. So finally, All right, get back in play. Yeah, Very nice little oh, somewhere, oh, Hamid. Oh, oh, he was lucky oh, there because yeah. he decided I'm going oh. to yeah, take awesome. the knock to my and they go down. He wasn't assured it was a free kick until he hit the floor and then they finally blew the whistle. I don't think it was that bad. Let's watch this. No, it's definitely not. He'd be looking to dive straight on the ball there, wouldn't he? I would either say a mistake. He shouldn't be going for the ball with one hand, the goalkeeper. The okay, referee was sympathetic, so Hemed gets the free kick. That's the central for him. Has he got the technique as a goalkeeper to get it one end to the other? And more importantly, between the sticks. That's the strike. Back to his left. Four and 32 left in the clock. Last period of the match. Uh, 
Ahmed will be making those five seconds stretch as far as he possibly can. Here we go, Out of the area. That's a free kick. With the choice of free kick. No free kick taker. in a second as we look over the Iranian delegation. Brave wearing jackets in this weather. Temperature is around about 30. Today was 36, 37. It's a degree between friends at that temperature. Especially to take this. Here we go. Let's go with a strike straight to Ahmed. And nobody reacted quick enough. Ukraine. And it's going to complain again. So this guy here says, I didn't touch him. Let's see. Close his legs quick enough there, didn't he? Wasting time. Probably you can't blame him at this stage. Four minutes, 12 on the clock. Just to go up your team. You want to break things up, you want to waste time. I'm sure, the Magic Spray will prove to be just that. All right, beach soccer fans want to go to these two teams. Fated to give us a good game here. But you know, the big soccer league winners 2016 Ukraine, always there or thereabouts at the top. Four or five in Europe. It is of Asia. It's these boys here, the Iranians in Japan, really, that step ahead of everybody else. Put the UAE in there as well. It's just a test to see what is better Asian beach soccer or European beach soccer. So far, looks like the Asian is winning out. We ramble. We serve well in the future by the six month, seven month league that plays every year. Oh. Anyway, one heck of a difference much beach soccer. All their players, far one, two actually, they play in a Rush, remember, if we do go to extra time, it's two points for a win. If we get a winner in extra time, we get a winner on penalties, it will be one point for a win. Come on, let's make it louder. Rush. Not unfortunate to get the corner, it's a weak shot. Keep it in play, way over his bar. Made it look spectacular though by jumping and swinging off the crossbar. The Senegalese team arriving now on the far right hand side. So sitting down, watching this game. Okay, coming up once again after this match, we're going to have El Salvador versus Russia. Well, player is down, it's a head injury, so referee is obliged to stop it. That's done. This game has become extremely pity in the last few minutes. Round and round. Team need a bit of flow out of Ukraine. I think that did actually hurt them. Well, as much as landing on sand never does. So this guy in. And it gets to his feet, doesn't need the physio. The instructing the Iranian players to. Later to their opponents. Attempted to try and crack it into the back of the net. How do you feel about this game? Why? 
Which balls have you played out? As we go finally <laughs> into the final three minutes. Is that one way go to the sky here? Let's give it. The referee. That's a dramatic dive, and that's a dramatic bit of refereeing. It was a foul. Twice he's been down now. This is the referee. Such intensity. Okay, come on, I think there's an inch of his body not covered in sand there. He's actually got brown hair. Somewhere <laughs> under that lot. Cues himself up. Inches of how to do that. Okay. You crying? I want you to be loud. So this guy here. but they don't get a win now. It's difficult to find it. They find it very difficult to qualify to progress in this tournament. Back here. Oh, it's a decent effort. Oh, very good effort. We surprised everybody. Luckily enough, not Hamid. How does it go? He just saw the gap and then go for it. And that was almost, yeah, almost no, no, no. the gap they require. They have to put this game to bed now. They get this cross in and finish it. They can't. So we get a foul. We're inside the final two minutes. I get a feeling there'll be a foul or two more. Now for this couple of periods. Six and five fouls as we watch that. Five fouls in the last few minutes. I don't think you can argue too much there, I'm sure me. And with his opponent facing towards his own goal, nowhere to go really. Take the opportunity to go to ground. Silly not to. Alright, so notice it just came in here right now. Well there. This is your beach soccer. Alright. Close it in. Usual technique. Lost a little bit of panic in that Iranian defense. Yeah, there you go, buddy. Catching the ball inside a good lot. Well, as the nose creep in, it's the momentum has changed one way to the other. Ukraine now going to really be pushing in this last minute, 30 Time seconds. Minute and They're going to be quite happy for them to retain possession. So they don't go forward too quick. Sky, the rush. Sky to his right. In. This guy tucks in left foot strike. And it's on its way. Oh! Oh, maybe that was a little bit ambitious. A bit of panic in that shot from said this guy here. Yeah, okay. yeah, tuck on the bench there, looks pensive. Right, here right. goes. Right now, the this guy here, spectacularly away. Inside the final 40 seconds. Who is going to hold their nerve? Oh, that is a dream of a free kick for Iran. I can't quite believe it. This waste time is in a great position. And it goes to their captain. And he's played in. Six World Cups. Come on, guys, stop your hands. 
played in the Russian league with Spartak, the strongest sides. Not the player you want to get a free He's even got one of his teammates, you can't quite see it there. He's the on the sound for him. He's less bothered. It's going to be power, obviously, this distance, that run up. So, transfer around to seal it. Oh, they don't. They're all screaming for the ball. Are you surprised, brother? Oh, may have hit a target there. You know, to say, are you surprised? Well, I am. I thought he would have hit the target at least. The rush. Well, oh, away. Fist pump. Tony Reedy defence there. Keanu in particular. Knows how important that could be. Got to be careful. Don't concede the foul. That's exactly what you want. That's got to be it. They've got five seconds to take it. They won't need to. There goes the hoot, and what a victory that is for Iran. He looked absolutely dead and buried at one point. The shots, the shots on target ratio in the first two periods, would you believe? 26 shots, three on target. He thought, this team can't score. This team aren't going to score. But somehow, from somewhere, they dug deep, they found the quality. Final score, Ukraine four, Iran five. Let's go, Salvador. I want to see you dancing. 